Hello everyone, just a quick update. Tomorrow is the qualifier play-in for Explorer Best of One. We're going to be running some live here on this channel. That'll probably be around 8 or 9 p.m. Central Time, so tune in if you could make it. So we've narrowed it down to either playing the Amalia combo deck or playing this blue-white control list. We'll probably run this control list first um, and see how it goes. If we don't win, we'll do another run with the Amalia combo. And then if we don't win with that, maybe we'll do one more. And if we don't win that one, maybe we'll try the best of three event the following week. But if you ask me to give you my best blue-white control list, this is it. I've been winning a lot with this deck. I know Cavernous Souls exist, but I don't see it enough to make me not want to play a bunch of counter spells. And really the decks that play that is mostly mono white, and my deck's just good against mono white anyway with Temporary Lockdown and Supreme Verdict. So let's get into some more games. This is all just practice for tomorrow, and hopefully I'll see you tomorrow during the stream. I think this hand looks good. Got to make this appear into an absorb. Why not? Either playing against Mono Green Devotion or Elves. So if we're playing it, okay, it's Mono Green. Big damage. Need to find a Supreme Verdict. We'll definitely make disappear that. Okay, another elf. But eventually we are... I guess uh, Wondering Emperor is a really good answer to the troll. Alright, what you got? Let's play the castle and we'll pass. I guess they want me to answer the troll first before playing another spell. So we're gonna take this damage so we can still hold up Absorb, but we can Wondering, Inter Wondering Emperor in step and exile the troll if they don't do anything. Yeah, that is a spell that has to be countered. All right, no Supreme Verdicts. Oh, they found their shrine, it's not good. Um, so this is going to go up to eight. This costs 10. Do they have another land? I'm just debating if I have to return this old growth tro troll to their hand. Because right now they would just have 9 mana unless they can play another land. Or they can... There Maybe their plan is to just transform it. I'm going to let it resolve. Okay. They'll just transform it. That that actually loses devotion when they transform it, which is funny. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make a two two. We have the other one. Once they attack with this, it's just when it dies, right? So it doesn't matter if it gets exiled. I think we can just play this tapped, pass the turn. Still, this Storm the Festival is looming over us. I'm I'm considering just taking this damage. I think I take it. I wanna I still wanna hold up absorb in case they have another storm. Okay, a mystic I don't care about. Okay. Now we'll be happy to exile that. Ooh, ooh. Say goodnight, elves. I guess I could have attacked with that 2-2 two -two first. Maybe that was uh, that was the play, but no matter. 
All right, now now we're uh, we're winning. Yeah, let's get rid of troll. Um, one short. I was gonna say maybe I could deluge and find a Teferi, but I'm actually just one short here. All right, let's pick up. I was gonna say that. Prefer preferably, let's pick up a counter spell. But another deluge is good. All right, <laughs> GGS. Uh, the sand's okay. Nothing spectacular, but I guess it's keepable. Start with the farmland. Overgrown tomb. All right, make this pier was a nice pickup. They're playing Amalia combo, or they're playing Grease Fang. Amalia, no surprise. Veteran, okay. I think I'm actually going to play a Wandering Emperor here. They can play Collected Company if they want. Sure. Oops. I just need to make a 2-2. I don't care if this veteran comes back. Alright, get lost is good. I think that's makes it safe enough I can play this to fairy with a veto and a get lost. I know what must be done. We need to move quickly. Just make another two two. Let's get an attack in. All right, not really worried about Cord because I can veto. Still got to get lost for an Amalia. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. But this deck can be tricky. Yeah, that's... Uh, hmm. Do I care about this? Because they could still Cord, technically, for two. I think I let this resolve. And then I'm just gonna... They could cord for two here. Sure. I'm actually fine with this. You can make your Amalia really big. I can send it back to your hand. They're going to leave Return to the Ranks um, on top of their library, which I have the veto for. And remember, the Get Lost is still on the stack, so this is going to resolve. We're going to have a clean board. I'm going to have a Deluge, a Veto, and two Planeswalkers on the field. So this is completely fine. All right, they're stuck. And there we go. I'm pretty happy about this. I feel like they're killing all their creatures for me, so I don't have to. And then then I can just uh, hopefully rely on this to ferry. Yeah, we'll, we'll pay the three. 
a deluge. Let's skip to the good part. Um, I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and use one. Fill to Ruin can be really annoying for them. I don't, I don't think I want another Teferi. I guess it could be bad if they have a second return to the ranks in their hand. But even then, I'm still not dead. Like, the Malia's going to have summoning sickness. All right. <laughs> Glad we got to sift through that. I think this hand looks okay. These filled of ruins uh, make this hand slightly awkward, but maybe we can find what we need. We're playing against probably Fires, which is actually kind of a tough matchup, I think, for Control. Maybe this isn't the best hand against the Fires deck. We should have maybe considered mulligan mulliganing this a little bit. Hmm, maybe they're not playing Fires. And they're playing, uh, what is it called? Creativity? So we have some options. I think I like getting Wondering Emperor going. Oh, wow. They already, they're going for that already. Very interesting. All right. Wondering Emperor will let us get some pressure on him. Um, do I dare go for Teferi? They did they didn't counter the Emperor. But if they counter Teferi, then I won't have Make Disappear available. Let's go for it. Do you have a counter? No counter. Alright. Make disappear with the tokens. Yes, please. All right, another Meg disappears. Pretty nice. Maybe we can just counter our way through this game now. Yeah, Gear Hulk. Um, you can't have that. All right. <laughs> GG's. All right, this hand's fine with me. Would like to draw a sweeper at some point. Uh, never mind if they're playing blue white control. It's a decent hand against blue white control, having the memory deluge, Dovin's veto, and a make disappear. Get lost could be li good later down the line if they play a Teferi. But really, main thing is we just want to make sure we hit land drops. Don't miss any land drops. Once you miss a land drop, you get into trouble against the mirror. And it has had all their land drops so far. See if they want to counter it, counter this. They could play an emperor. Wow, we didn't hit any land drops. This is very awkward. <sighs> Well, unfortunately, we have to just pass the turn. Pretty bad we didn't hit a land there, but we can try again. Um, I think I'm actually just going to play the Typhoon. Having the 2-2 kind of forces some action from them. All right, now the lands are flowing a little bit. Can flash in an emperor. Maybe they have their own deluge. All right. They just want to get rid of the token. That makes sense. 
All right, let's go for another deluge. All right, Wondering Emperor's good. I don't think I want another Make Disappear. They have so much lands. Emperor was a pretty nice pickup. I'll definitely force some more action from them. I actually think I like countering this and see if they can burn another counter. See if they're willing to burn another counter. They probably have a make disappear. Okay, I'll just Dovin's Veto. That's the turn where like I really need to draw to fairy. All right, the, these are way too many make disappears. <laughs> All right, having these the memory deluge though has been really nice. Um, as much as I want another land, having these shark, having the shark typhoon, I think is a little more important. We don't care about our life total really, so we can just shock that in. We are going to need to find one of our lands to deal with that castle, though. Let's just make a big shark here. Alright, we don't need any more absorbs. We can just get rid of uh, Make Disappear. All right, no blocks. Who's going to go for a Teferi first? All right, we'll take our castle to Teferi. I could go for it and hold up Absorb. So they played one Absorb and one Veto. I don't think it's really going to be that good, though. I think I think it just gets countered, and then I won't have as many counter spells available for me, for myself on the next turn. Like, if I played Teferi, it gets counter. I could Absorb their counter, but there's a good chance they... Have it make disappear or something else, and then they can resolve their own to fairy. I want to avoid that. They're gonna have to deal with this shark eventually, though. Okay, I actually kind of like fighting over this. I need to get rid of cards in my hand. Let's see if they have a verdict. No? Another Teferi. Um, okay. You're at two. I might just be able to counter my way to a win here. Unless they have Supreme Verdict, then I won't be able to counter it, obviously. All right, there's Verdict. Let's see if we can pick up another Veto. There's a Veto. I have two Teferis already. I think getting a Hall would be good. But do I need an untapped land for next turn? One, two, three, four, five. So I could play to fairy plus hold up. Um, I think I'm gonna get an untapped land actually. And let's see if they go for the counter. That way I can do Dovin's Veto plus a make disappear. All right, they just had to have specifically Dovin's Veto to answer that.
I think we'll get rid of a get lost. All right, let's see if they have another one. We can still Dovin's veto plus a make disappear. All right, <laughs> I guess they don't have a counter and now do it. 